Get him free, get him into space, and he's pretty dangerous. So he was able to finish that one. He had a couple other chances, but um, hey, I'll take one. <laughs> he could have had two or three, but I'll take one. Yeah. It, was a, it was a great finish. Uh, I mean, their keeper's a good goalie, so took something, you know, that was right inside the, the post. Um, and he's kind of scored. That's kind of his niche. He likes going out wide, likes using left foot. So mm -hmm. he's been, you know, fantastic for us. It's, I think it's his 41st goal of the season. So, can you comment on your defense today? Yeah, I mean, um, we've really started. We, we made some adjustments back there. We got a guy back from injury as well. And um, you know, Jake Jiggly. I've never seen a keeper for my four years in here play a game like that. He played fantastic. Uh, he had that save before we scored, and then the the scrum in there. I, you know, just the just to have the mental capacity to get the ball out and, and, and play it up the field was just fantastic. So, and uh, obviously it was you know back and forth there. You know, Daryl just having a goal scorer like Daryl was that that's in a game like this. You think that really makes a difference? It does. Uh, single A too. You know the, the the quality players you have on the field is a little bit lower than what you look at as like quad A, three A, two A, and you have a guy like that that's you know just a, a pretty good talent. Um, he can win you a game. And, uh, you know, we have two guys like that, him and Chris mm -hmm. Stack. So, mm -hmm. um, luckily, you know, one of them showed up. He's, he's now back on the on a goal scoring streak, I think. He's got one every in the past three games. So, um, yeah, he, like you said, he's, he is a guy that can just, he can take over a game, win the game for you. So, it's, it's great to have him. What did you guys do differently? Obviously, you lost to, to this same team in the semifinals in the Whippeals. What was, what was different that you did tactically um, versus, you know, uh, I want, that where they're game. strong, they, they played a flat three in the first mm -hmm. game, and uh, they had a guy kind of shadowing Daryl in the middle of the field. We played like a like a withdrawn forward with a high guy, and I wanted them to stretch out, and they actually made, I think he made the adjustment to four in the back, um, which actually helped us too, because it took a player out of the midfield, and then I think he went to four, five, one in the second half, which caused us a little bit of problems because we only had two central mids, um, but we sorted out. We moved some guys around, and uh, we were able to kind of keep isolating. We wanted to isolate the width. Uh, Rivetti's a really good player, um, and especially when he put, uh, I forget three's name, but he's a very good player, too. When they put those two in center back, I want to make sure we were isolating uh, their outside backs with Stack and Daryl. So. And the second half, I mean, as soon as after Daryl got the goal, I mean, Gigliotti made a tremendous save. Yeah. Um, they came at you for a little bit, but it looked like they, they, they were ran out of gas a little bit. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think that's that was kind of how we always wanted to play those guys is yeah. let's get them into the last minutes because I don't think they're that deep uh, relative mm -hmm. to us. Um, and, uh, you know, they did a lot of chasing in the first half. It was kind of mm -hmm. the, the playing direct and with a few forwards up top. Uh, we wanted to make sure that they'd be a little bit out of gas and we'd be, you know, good to go at the end. So, luckily... Yeah, but I mean, nothing, Jiggy was awesome in that. Mm -hmm. um, the save before we scored was, I think, the turning point mm -hmm. again. He made a save on, uh, I don't know if it was Bryce uh, or Braden uh, Wills. but The one where the kid got the ball on the left side. Yeah, and he, yeah. Just, he yeah. got to it and pushed yeah. it wide. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think maybe within five minutes, I'll have to check the tape, but I think within five minutes we scored. So yeah. um, I think that just turned the game. Because I think if that goes in, our heads go down, we start to panic a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to beat those guys. In the back, and the keep. I think that's the second goal they've let in all playoffs. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's fantastic. Uh, in the with the guys in the back, and then definitely, uh, you know, guys up top did really well. So, but, so okay. we don't have a result in from for, from the Swickley game, but um, potentially could be playing Swickley Academy again. What any thoughts on? I know it's you're probably enjoying this moment. Yeah, but uh, uh, no, well, I told these guys I've been the senior class is my class in terms of I came in with these guys, so. I told these guys this is our sixth opportunity in the playoffs to win and see them on the other side of the bracket. It hasn't happened yet. At yet. That's Which is sixth, remarkable it's considering sixth time. Yeah, the, it's the sixth, two programs have. Exactly. It's yeah. the sixth time that it's uh, it's come to that. And I said, let's make sure we take care of our part. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they're there, they're there. Awesome. It'd be great to, to see them. Um, you know, so I, you're saying in four years, you've never played Swickley Academy? Uh, in the playoffs, no. Wow. We played. Like I said, we've had every year mm -hmm. in thirteen. We had a chance to play them in the final. We mm -hmm. lost. Same thing this year. We had a chance to play them in state. We lost mm -hmm. last year. They lost to Avonworth, and then we lost in the court uh, going in the Western final. So this will be our first opportunity um, to play those guys, and we'd be excited to play them. Mm -hmm. They've uh, they've kind of taken it to us in the regular season when we play them. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't play them this year because of the way the section worked out. Mm -hmm. Because I, you know, J Jim and I are pretty good buddies. Uh, Coach Boone. And I said, you know, we'll just see each other in playoffs. It's mm -hmm. fine. We'll see each other at that point. So, but okay. And then obviously, the the 
the, all those years of Seton and Swickley being in the same section ended this year or last year? Uh, no, we, we haven't been in the same section, I think, since 2009. Okay, so you played regularly. Yeah, we, we, we played every year over the past, mm -hmm. uh, since I've been here, except for this year, because mm -hmm. we went to 14 section games and they had 12, and I just kept uh, some of my out of section schedule. But uh, yeah, we like I said, it's been six times in four years that we've had an opportunity in either the state playoffs or the uh, Whippeal playoffs to see them. And, a lot of times we haven't held up our end of the bargain, but you know, hopefully we both do this time. I'd like to see those guys, and I don't want to travel. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Leaving Bradford on Tuesday, I definitely right. don't want to have to go to like Somerset or wherever. We got to go out east. So, but um, all right, coach. Thanks a lot. Thank and great okay. win. Yeah, thanks.